smsumustangs.com or with head coach Brad Bigler following the Mustangs' exciting championship uh, victory over Upper Iowa. And, and coach, uh, you know, there's lots to talk about, obviously, and in this game uh, was uh, a lot of ups and downs and whatnot. But uh, let's talk about this four-game run by your squad to, to capture this championship or a, sp a pretty special night for this program. Yeah, it is. I'm kind of kind of at a loss of words right now. It's just been, it's been a fun ride. Um, Ryan Brueggemann kind of has carried us, but we've had a lot of other guys that have stepped up as well. And, and that's kind of the thing about this team. We've been able to win a lot of close ball games, and it's, it's because we've been able to get it done in a lot of different ways. You know, tonight, uh, you know, was a, a great example. Uh, you know, a lot of different guys stepping up, making some big shots. You know, Brueggemann, obviously 20 points. Enjoy Bartlett with 20, but Michael Lee with some big shots. K.J. Davis with, uh, you know, on the defensive end, steal. And Mitch Wegg making some clutch free throws. It, it's kind of typifies this team this year. It's a team effort to, to get this many wins right now at 26-5. Uh, and five. Well, and, it, and that's the thing. I mean, this is a group where, Kind of individually, we're not always uh, complete, but as a unit, we are complete. And we complement each other, and we need each other to make each other better, and, and that's what this group has really bought into. And uh, tonight or throughout the weekend, uh, it was big for K.J. Davis to be uh, get his hand, the ball in his hands a little bit. When Ryan was tired and run those long minutes, we needed another guy who could get to the rim and make some plays, and I thought he did an out outstanding job. Joy stepped up and did what a senior leader is supposed to do and make some big plays, the rebounding of Carter and Mitch, and, and then obviously the three-point shots by, by Michael Lee. Boy, he just stepped up and made big three in each game. And to have him healthy now, it kind of gives us uh, gives us a chance to, to, to kind of have those rotations to start the game. And, and, just, uh, and I'm forgetting probably somebody, but boy, everyone does their part. Tonight, uh, defensively, you limit uh, Upper Iowa to you know, possibly its worst shooting night of the season, 34%, uh, the lowest they've had in quite some time regardless. But uh, all weekend, the defense really w w came through at critical times and really made the, the other teams really work on the offensive end. And, and that goes back to our system. Um, just guys, that, there's a whole concept of just having each other back. Um, you know, when, we, we're, we're, when they're driving at different angles, we have certain rotations, and then... Though after those rotations, you're not just done, though. You, you can't get caught watching, and guys have to rotate to the next pass and just keep flowing out of it, and we're getting better with it. And, and if we want to keep having a special year, that, uh, that's going to have to continue to get better. And uh, we're going to see some teams that can put up some crazy points coming up here pretty soon. Well, I've been talking, uh, you know, as a, with the team, and, you know, and obviously with the season we're having, uh, you know, NCAA tournament berth was a, a, a very good possibility. Now it's a certain that you're going to enjoy this here for a few days. It's nice. We have an extra, you know, few more days to rest up. But uh, one, come March 11th, uh, you know, there's still some big goals for this squad and uh, to get refocused for. Yeah, and that's where um, and we, we've been talking about a lot. I mean, the NCAA tournament's been the goal. And... I thought after the game, you know, we, we had our moment out there. They celebrated. They had fun. And we kind of had a little bit of fun in here. But after that moment, you could see, you know, Ryan, Joe, Mitch, Turner. I mean, you could see th there's, a lot of, there's a lot of hungry guys left in this locker room to kind of keep it pushing and, and to continue to be a little bit different. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations on the, the the win. A great crowd tonight, too. we got to say great support by the yes. Mustang fans. And, you know, they're important to this program. There's a lot of people outside, of, you know, the, the team as well. But it was a special night tonight here in, in Sioux Falls. And it's just great to hear from all the alumni, uh, the fans, the friends. Um, this whole experience is it's a rewarding experience because of so many people that care. And that's the thing about Southwest. Minnesota State, and that's the thing about Marshall and the surrounding community. It's just a lot of people like here. And honestly, that's one of our biggest biggest strengths. You bet. Coach, congrats on the win. We'll talk definitely here as we get toward the NSA tournament. Thank you.